r slash relationships. Puzzleheaded test 4088 says. My best friend cheated on her husband and swore me to secrecy. My best friend 30 female, and her husband 35 male, have been married for 6 years, have 2 very young kids, and she recently admitted to me, that she slept with a mutual friend of this. She says she doesn't want to divorce her husband, but she doesn't feel guilty, and, I think, is planning on cheating again. She has sworn me to secrecy, but I don't know if I can just sit by and watch her destroy her marriage, because I'm sure this is going to blow up in her face. I've known her for a very long time and she's basically like a sister, but her husband is also a dear friend. What would you do? Too long. Didn't read, my best friend is cheating on her husband and I don't know whether to tell him or not. Makemafamous7 says. Well it is complicated. I have seen situations where the other person, the victim, actually did not want to believe and thought the person was telling the story was lying or trying to create a scene so they would split up. I have been with dates where they knew the other guy cheated on their gf and they never told the girl, victim, claiming it wasn't their business. I have the feeling that men always help men, they never tell the wife or gf that the guy screwed up. Most likely they even think it is fun. But women never help women. They will always tell the guy the wife slash gf screwed up. And to be honest, you don't even know how it is gonna end. Maybe he will forgive her, and they will get back, and you will be the one seeing as a bad friend, for causing a scene, plus your friend trusted you on telling the story and to open up, and known for gossiping. Inova Hay says. Silence is complicity. Your friend should never have involved you in her dirty deeds. She had no right to expect your silence. Kindlesticks says. Keep your mouth shut. Continuing the friendship is up to you. But don't snitch on your best friend. Straight up Gab says. Tell her she needs to stop, or you will tell her husband. Moni Printer 12 says. Send an anonymous message. Jolly Average 4705 says. Sounds like it'll eat at you if you don't tell him. Especially knowing she's gonna do it again unapologetically. You know what to do, but not how. I deck how I would tell my friend's spouse. Good luck. Vexen says. Hello, hi, in January of this year, my best friend's wife told my fiancé that she had been having a year plus long affair and was planning on leaving him and ghosting him. Like you, we searched around for advice, but really we just wanted someone to confirm what we felt, because we are not morally and ethically bankrupt, we had to tell him. We couldn't let him hurt like this. It's now half a year later, he decided to make up with her. His ultimatum to her was to quit her job, worked alongside a fair partner, and her ultimatum to him was to pretend it neve happened, and just move on. Since my fiancé and I were the catalyst to him finding out, we were scapegoated, and they cut us out of their lives. Granted we wanted nothing to do with her after this so, not much loss, but still he was my best friend for 12 years. 85% chance you're going to lose a friend, or both if you consider yourself close with him. But at the end of the day, do you think you can compartmentalize it all, and just keep the secret, while he thinks everything is okay? What is this account for says? Do you think you can keep this friendship, if you know this secret? Where you'll gone Ademon says. Swore you to secrecy? What is this, the CIA? Tell husband. Are you married? Do you want your husband thinking you're okay with this? Are you okay destroying the trust in your own marriage over this friend? Are you prepared to divorce over this? Because there's a good chance of that happening. Bike underscore off says. Tell him if you were the one being cheated on you would definitely want to know. Wraith's commissioner says. I will keep promises to not tell but cheating, abuse, and another things that I don't agree to is where I draw line. I don't have time for those things. I don't even want it happen to me. I certainly don't want it to happen to anyone anyway. I will tell their significant other. 
Your best friend made her bed. She got to lay on it now. It quite disgusting how she doesn't feel any guilt and planning on to cheat again. R slash relationships. Widfany says. I, 31 FL, want to break up with my, potentially, dying boyfriend 34 male. I, 31 female, have been dating my boyfriend 34 male, for a year. Six weeks into us first dating he disclosed he developed lumps in his throat and brain fog earlier in the year and he doesn't know why yet. I thought to myself could I be with someone who is sick and could potentially be terminally ill. Not because I was put off by his unknown illness, but because I knew it could possibly become an emotional roller coaster if his health worsened. I didn't know if I could commit to that, especially with someone I hardly knew. However, we continued to date, because I did genuinely become fond of him. As the relationship progressed, I started to see his anger management issues come out. He is short-tempered, and doesn't have much patience. He is also a heavy drinker. The two combined, don't go well together, and we've had some emotionally and mentally exhausting nights. Over the last year, his health has gotten worse and there has been little progress forward with a diagnosis. As a result, his mental health has declined. He's getting angrier which is the result of stress, fear, anxiety, and likely depression. When he is very angry he punches things, rips up things, breaks things, and even once threw a chair through the wall. My boyfriend is convinced he's drying because he is more fatigued than ever and his symptoms are getting worse, that is. Headaches, inability to focus, loss of appetite. Additionally, he's unhappy at work and he doesn't like living in the city, which is where we live, but only does it for work, he's originally from a small town two provinces away. He's unhappy in all areas of his life and his anger is compounding. I sympathize with his issues, he says he's the most miserable he's ever been, and it shows with his words and actions. But I don't enjoy being with him, I can't handle his anger issues, and I feel like his negative attitude and behavior is having a negative effect on me. Am I being an empathetic to him, or am I doing the right thing by protecting my peace? I feel like by breaking up with him, I'm abandoning him, but I feel like, by staying I'm neglecting my needs and well-being. Too long, didn't read, my 31 female, boyfriend 34 male, might be dying. But his anger issues and negative attitude are driving me. A bratty says. If he's dying and been to the doctor then someone has found a cause. I'm concerned he's creating this to manipulate you into the relationship. This may be a defense he's created through the years since his personality is so flawed. No underscore principle underscore 5534 says. M A year relationship could go either way if my wife was sick i would stick by her people who are dying tend not to be happy and in their finals days i would not abandon my wife because my fifis got hurt and all of a sudden i became an emotional wimp that being said if i had been dating someone for a week and found out they were sick i would not feel compelled to jump on that roller coaster a year should be between the two so it is up to you Maybe move out, and keep in contact, while supporting him at doctor visits. Especially if he physically hurts you, I wouldn't put yourself in that position. I would try talking to him, and saying you love him, but you are scared, when he loses his temper. Really this could go either way. I would ask what you would want him to do, if the situation was reversed. Also as I ready this, it said his diagnosis hasn't progressed. Has he been going to the doctor? Jasper247 says. Strange that he can't find a diagnosis after all this time. Maybe you could break up and offer to just be friends, so you don't feel like you are completely abandoning him. Unusual Potato 1515 says. We are dying, just at different rates. Yearn for leaving him, because of his anger issues, drinking problem and negativity sounds draining. You're not his famicky, so no need to feel bad about abandoning someone you've not been dating for long. 
Look out for yourself as it looks like this relationship is not enriching you. Weird Hovercraft 6882 says. If you knew what it was, I could give a better answer. This is where healthcare is far behind. That said, if he was an asshole and had 4 weeks to live. I would tell you to stay, but maintain some distance. With a short time he will die in the untangling of the relationship and that may make you feel guilty. If it was 6 months I would tell you to leave, because he needs someone completely on his side and you aren't able to do that at this point, because of the newness of the relationship and the doubts his behavior is causing. I hope that makes sense. It may sound strange, but in the short term it may be easier to just be there for him. In the long term, you can't be there to fight for him enough. Just underscore ever underscore 7502 says. Walk the freak away. The dying is irrelevant to the violence and terrible treatment of you. You do not need to set yourself on fire for him. Chat Lettuce says. You should leave him and make a plan to leave him safely. I recently had to help someone that was very similar to your situation. She got with her boyfriend and he very shortly after started experiencing life-changing health isis most of which were self diagnosed and no doctors could help him. He also said he was constantly dying. He was using his symptoms as a way to keep her in the relationship out of guilt and as an excuse to horribly abuse her. He never could get a diagnosis because there was physically nothing wrong with him. Whenever she tried to leave, he'd say she was being cruel and a ballast which made her stay even longer and cater to his needs even more all while he continued to treat her even worse. Please, please consider if you're being manipulated. It's hard to consider when you've been with someone for a while and it's hurtful to consider but notice if there have been ANH other situations when symptoms have escalated. Please make a plan to leave safely. If he's shown himself to be violent before, it could very well escalate as you try to leave, if you do end up leaving. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.